My dad is currently upstairs getting a few last things, and then we're gonna be on our way to Orlando um, to go to ADGQ, Awesome Games Done Quick, and we're also gonna go to Universal Studios at some point. We've pulled up to our hotel, and there's a guy out here who is like pupils are dilated, and he's like walking around with like a weird look on his face, and there's a white van, so he might be on the shrugs, which is not good, um, but you know, it, we'll, we'll be fine, it's we'll fine. Be fine. Hi, we're in the hotel now, Dad is using a bathroom. That guy was really creepy, yeah, there was like a guy, um, he was kind of older, uh, and you're also, I'm just gonna say, there is a white van outside, um, but he was, like, walking around kind of weird. He had, like, a weird look on his face, and his pupils were dilated, so something, something's going on. Also, like, some lady came up to Dad and asked something. Didn't make much sense. People here are weird. I'm sure it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna go... And we're gonna see if we can catch Metal Gear Solid Korean. We're both wearing our. Is that your ADGQ? It is my ADGQ shirt. We're wearing shirt. our. You can't see them because it's dark, but we're wearing our ADGQ shirts. Yeah, we've got mine's Star Fox. I've not. I don't like his Star Fox games, but I like playing as him in Super Smash Bros. I uh, I figured out there's another light I wasn't using. This is my Star Fox shirt. Dad has a. Um, Super Mario Sunshine one. Yeah. I am sad. This song is sad. We are all sad. This is a sad boy song. I am sad. This song is sad. We are all sad. This is a sad boy song. I am sad. This song is sad. We are all sad. This is a sad boy song. I, I need to know something. Come here. Absolutely. Tell me if I'm going crazy. I don't know where when it disappeared, but there used to be a Hershey's chocolate bar with like weird air bubbles in it. I know what you're talking about. Yes, I feel it's cool. But it's gone missing. I haven't seen it in years. And I, I'm, I'm, if we could remember the name, but we can look at the line, get to the bottom of the mystery. But yeah. We don't know what it's called. We just look up. It was air bubbles. Air bubbles. It was one of the weirder things anybody's ever googled. But. I mean, I'm sure it's weirder, probably. And you got what you got to do. It's very upsetting. It used to be my favorite part into going into like Walgreens and CVS. Pretty good. I don't blame you one bit. Is this it? No, now I'm extra disappointed. We have safely made it back to our hotel, thankfully. There was another sketchy person. We saw like some lady who looked very suspicious, um, just like get out of her hotel room and then just like walk towards the street and then like walk away and we don't know where she went. Nothing got stolen while we were gone. Dad actually put the volume like high on the TV and the lights on to make it seem like we were here. We got these cool passes for ADGQ. We got some jalapeno poppers from Walgreens as well as just some like drinks and we're gonna have dinner and we're watching Bob's Burgers. The only episode I've ever seen and so we're coincidence that I'm seeing it again but we're it's fun. We are going to see Goodnight Cry uh, yeah, we are. at AGDQ which is like one of the main ones we had planned because uh, I'll link it in the description. I don't know if y'all know, the YouTuber uh, slash streamer, his name is Super Great Friends, did a very entertaining playthrough, and we quite enjoyed it. Um, so we're gonna go watch that. We are the only people in the world for whom this is their number one most anticipated part of the, this event. Yeah. Nobody else is as excited for Nightcry as we are. Yeah, it's genuinely kind of sad. Sad. Yes. Did you enjoy the night cry? Night cry was fantastic. I made a cult mask. Number oh. one night cry super fan. 
I'll show a screenshot of what this is if, if you don't know. You need to go watch. <laughs> you need to go watch Iger the. Uh, if you want to watch it in under an hour, watch the um, Run Crew. Yep, done by Ekdysis, I think his name yeah, was. Yeah, I will uh, link in the description. Meanwhile, if you want the more thorough full Nightcry experience, then go to Super Raven, also in the description. Nightcry is wonderful. Yeah, it is. Yes. Uh, we're gonna eat a Dragon Ball Z restaurant called yes. Super Saiyan. Isn't that clever? I, um... Isn't that clever? <sighs> soup like soup, but then Super yeah, Saiyan. You see yeah. what they did there? I'm very iffy about this, but hopefully it'll be good. And at least it's a one-of-a-kind experience. You know, we yeah. couldn't get a Karabas, but Karabas, we get that at home. Yeah, we can I, have Karabas at home. I promise, though, we cannot get Super Saiyan at home. I'm terrified, but we're gonna do that. Coyotes, rip you apart. Again, I thought that you were hurt and it broke my... I just wanted to say, this is... Outside of a bootleg Disney shop, and that thing is terrifying. It looks like a sleep paralysis demon, and I don't like it. It's it's a gay. It's a gay. It's gay a ton. <laughs> There's so many different flavors of it as well. <laughs> Got. This is all just different instant ramens. It's so. It from here. Dad, literally, from here all the way to out here, it's just forever. instant ramen. Why? Yeah, There's a know. random helicopter. Yeah, that was a prop helicopter at first, but take a close look. I mean, it seems like actually functioning in like a real legit helicopter. Why is it there? And we got Dad some coffee uh, to feed into your caffeine addiction. Yay! And we got some chocolate bars. Dad got this one, which is Spanish, so it doesn't mean what what y'all what y'all probably thought. Um, that's why I didn't get that one, but I got this one, and we're gonna try them. And we also got a thing of white person milk um, because we're just like that, and we want milk with our weird uh, fancy chocolate bars. We're gonna be catching a race where two people are both gonna speedrun Jack 2 at the same time to see who can beat it faster. And Jack games are a very fun speedrun game, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh my god, I thought that you. Hi everyone, if I look tired, it's because I am. Uh, I didn't really sleep last night, uh, but I did have some of that, uh, like, Brazilian coffee we got from the market. Um, Dad is currently, uh, checking us out of the hotel, which is why he's not here right now. Uh, he, we have to check out of the hotel, otherwise we'll have to pay for another day. So, the plan for today is just, we're gonna spend the day at Universal. Uh, we did wake up super early. Dad dealt with the passes last night while I stayed home because I was tired, if you, yeah. Um, and we want to get there as early as possible because we want to be able to go on Gringotts, one of the big Harry Potter rides. I want to take note today, uh, we have parked in the Jurassic Park area and I make a pun that we are Jurassic Parking. I just wanted to say that, okay. Oh, we went on the, we went on the Gringotts ride, and yes, indeed. it was not that bad. Yeah, nowhere near as intense as lots of other rides here, including one called The Mummy Returns, or The Revenge of the Mummy, which Tyler was not the world's biggest fan of. You lied to me, you said it wasn't that intense. It wasn't that bad, um, but this is definitely much less intense, yes. regardless of how intense you found the mummy. And it was quite enjoyable. Yes, I, I feel like it's not quite top-level rides for me, but it was yeah. good. It was very good. It was good. very good. Yes. All right. While dad's in the bathroom, I'm gonna sit my bug here and explain. We're gonna go to the Simpsons area. We're gonna go on the right. So something I noticed about the Simpsons right was that it had more motion than I remembered. I don't yeah. know. I thought it was, I remembered it as like a Transformers ride where there's like practically no motion, just like the ever so slightly it's, like terrible. Yeah, but it really does rock you back and forth quite a bit. It was very bit. odd, and I forgot yes. about that. It's a great ride, though. It Simpsons is. is honestly one of my favorite rides. Also, apparently, this is the first time they've shown a backstory for how Sideshow yes. Bob gets into the ride. Yeah, it's weird. Like, 
I've waited on the line for way longer than this. Like, this is the quickest I've ever walked on, but this is the only time I've caught, like, the thing that actually gives you the storyline of the ride. They gave, us, they gave us it twice. That they did. Yeah, because I guess weird. one of them was messed up or something. Anyways. Good ride. Go on Simpsons. We're gonna, ha we're gonna go, we're gonna try to go on the Yogurt Simpsons ride, which is just like one of those dumb teacup rides. Yeah, just like a little mini, you know, carnival um, ride type thing. Hello, the taco shop is open, which is, or it's closed, it's not open, which is very disappointing. Um, but we're gonna, apparently the Jimmy Fallon one has a super short wait right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna ride that, and we're gonna head over to Island of Adventure to eat. There's like no one here. Yeah. There's literally like not many people here. Okay, so we went on the Jimmy Fallon ride. Yes, we only took a chance on it because it was a very, very short line, but... I thought it was good. I thought it was good too, okay. So, we went on a Spider-Man ride, it was good. Then Dad dragged us across the entirety of Island of Adventure. There's a squirrel on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're, we're having these. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Hi. Okay, goodbye. Very darkly lit. Post-production, I forgot to mention what happened when we went on the Despicable Me ride. It like stopped halfway because somebody broke one of the safety rules um, and it, it just stopped it, but we did get an express pass, like a one-time use express pass because of the inconvenience, so that was cool.